let's use Lighthouse tool to, to audit the UL status. Um, to run the terminal as an admin. Uh, So I'm going to use command line interface, Lighthouse command line interface, uh, and uh, Chrome's Lighthouse tool, uh, just to compare the result. So Lighthouse, here's the URL, here's one of the URL. View, let's wait for the report. And let's also audit this. This is Chrome Canary. I think um, everyone already knows what is Chrome Canary. It's the experimental version of Chrome. They test different features and everything. Uh, the features being confirmed, they ship it to the stable version. Okay, all right, let me run the audit. So uh, let's the audit, okay. And in Chrome DevTools, uh, it's actually possible to choose uh, our audit. Like there are five different uh, options. Performance, progressive web app, best practices, accessibility, SEO. Uh, command line interface, I don't think it's possible, but if you guys uh, know, please share the information with us. And it also offer options to emulate desktop or mobile device. Uh, I didn't see this option in uh, regular Chrome. Uh, and you also can like, you know, choose your CPU speed from here. I saw that someone is saying that it's better to, uh, when, it, when you were emulating desktop, it's better to choose it none, but you know, um, do your own research. So let's just run the audit. Uh, in the meantime, let's see what, uh, let's discuss the command line interface result. And you see it was the runtime settings, user agent, it was this. Uh, and let's, this device, network throttling, this uh, CPU throttling. Okay, if you do your power from inside, of course, this is important. Like you know this section, you also I think uh, uh, you guys already know it that it's Lighthouse is actually integrated to WebPest Test Arc, which is another excellent tool to do the performance audit. Uh, and um, so the instructions are, I'm not going to discuss everything because it's a, there are a lot of things they're saying here, but. Um, you know, you do your own research and do your own. But here it says that, okay, the image elements do not have all the attributes, uh, all the files they're discussing, uh, and meta text properly. This is which section? I guess it's accessibility, yes. And, uh, you know, it's buttons and contrast and all different things. I mean, you know, five different sectors, we know that. Uh, best practices, okay, you know, they're saying about many different, let's discuss the SEO section. Content best practices, it says that, okay, meta description, it's, you see the cross mark, document doesn't have a meta description, okay. Crawling and indexing. To appear in search results, uh, search results, crawlers need access to your app, that's what they're saying. Page is blocked from indexing. Uh, search in engines are unable to include your pages and search results. And they're slaying, is saying that uh, robots.txt, uh, you know, it's blocked, or like, you know, this specific page is blocked from there, something like that. So, but which is like, you know, I know I did check the robots.txt, and it's actually vast. There are a lot of, they block, they have specific instruction for all important bots. So let's just see it. Um, here is Google bot and they have a specific instruction, but I didn't see that, okay, they're blocking this specific, but I, who knows, uh, you know, 
it just it's it's really vast. We need to uh, dig deeper to understand why it is saying that. Apple bot, Bing bot, uh, Amazon bot, Slurp. Here is Google bot image. Baidu spider. Here is uh, you know a, I don't know what is that bot. Uh, Tioma. Here is Yandex. Here is Yeti. Here is uh, Amazon Bot Media, Google Bot News. I mean, you know, many different bots. I also find out interesting that at Deep Crawl, they have a specific instruction for Deep, deep Crawl. I think a lot of us know this nice uh, crawler. Here is Deep Crawl. So now let's see the Chrome, uh, Chrome Canary Lighthouse Tool Report. You see the performance? It's score let's see if it varies or not uh, so it says here's the run time 74 performance it's the same url isn't it it's this http www and a uh, trailing slash and it was this URL was the same thing too. This HTTPS www trailing slash performance. You see, see the graph that okay, 4.3 second. And here, 2.4 second. Well, you know, we have to again, we have to dig deeper. Maybe it's because um, we. We're emulating. Actually, it's it's actually emulating uh, the and you know emulate means of course it's not the main device, but the command line interface is actually my main device resource. So the result probably vary for that reason, but we have to dig deeper. Uh, uh, and what else we know? Okay, I mean you know there are other uh, specific suggestions, and you see. This is actually uh, Lighthouse 2.9.1. And for the command line interface, it's the latest one, which is Lighthouse 2.9.4. Uh, so you see the user agent and the version varies. Um, what else, Lynn? If you go to the if we go to the SEO section, you see uh, Oh, we didn't discuss the other uh, SEO section. Let's discuss the command line interface SEO section. Uh, eight past audits, mobile friendly, it's mobile friendly. Okay, content, best practices, title element, links of descriptive text, valid hreflang, that's what they found. I think I also found it, uh, I'll show you, and then uh, document as valid rel canonical tag documentified plugins crawling and indexing there is no like you see uh, okay so crawling and indexing is said to appear in search for crawlers need to access your app and that's what they're saying uh, oh, there, there is a specific like instruction uh, if we go to Chrome Canary I mean Chrome Dev tools there is no anything, there's nothing like that, that okay, it can access to the page. One failed audits, but it's only meta description. Doesn't say anything like that, okay, your page, uh, like it's blocked. But it, here it says that, okay, yeah, that crawling and indexing is under SEO, that to appear in search results, crawlers and access to your app. Uh, okay, it's confusing. Uh, and like you said that okay it's uh, if we go to the source or in other words let's say you go to the network and if we choose actually Sarge and if we choose canonical it actually shows It's somewhere here, it's a canonical tag. I think we can find it from the view source section as well. So here's a canonical tag. We can see that, real canonical. I guess Google is respecting this tag. And uh, hreflang, 
also found the HF line. With this HF line, I honestly we need to dig deeper to understand how exactly they are practicing their adding the HF line because I think there's some problem there. But yeah, just to show you guys that okay, what's happening? Um, let's also test another URL. Let's see. We're gonna try the HTTP version of this URL. And let's see, there is no trailing slash. Let's run the same audit using Chrome DevTools and Lighthouse command line interface. So here's Lighthouse uh, view. And here is Chrome Canary. Uh, let's just go to the audit. Okay, here's the audit section. You can run the new audit from here. Run the, let's just run, okay, let's just, let's run the full audit. That's what happens. Okay, it's, it will take some time. Okay, it was actually pretty quick, but why it okay I made this mistake I guess even though I I what did I insert let's see yeah I, I guess I inserted HTTP and uh, without trailing slash but the Chrome Kamala interface it shows the UL is this runtime setting is this now why they're showing HTTPS is there any specific uh, does not use HTTPS and secure request font. All sites should be protected with HTTPS, even ones that don't handle sensitive data. HTTPS prevents intruders. Okay, but okay, what? what uh, but why they're showing? Okay, is there any specific? I'm trying to find. Is there any specific instruction for that? Secure e-worlds, okay, we know that. Okay, what is what is it here? You may, okay, we understand it's under progressive web app, you see that, but what is it saying? You may be failing this check because your test URL, HTTP, okay, and without slash was redirect to this. Try testing the second URL directly, okay. That was probably the reason. And you see here, the performance is also a bit slow. Uh, here's another thing uh, I notice. Just go back. Here it's, you see, it, it shows some warning. The URL provided should be on HTTPS. And it's here it shows like that it gets taking some time. Uh, performance stats will be skewed, uh, redirecting from HTTP to HTTPS. So yeah, there are a lot of things to understand, and let's go to the Chrome Dev Tools. So, and you can see your log had the result, the audit you performed. You see, it's 112, and now it was there's one performed on like you know I actually did it uh, like around uh, nine minutes ago. Now there's another. The new one, and this is this. Uh, actually, it also redirects to the. But I guess if we go to the network side, and it will show us that okay, it actually see it's oh no. Uh, but I guess I tested it, isn't it? Okay, let me just run the same test again. Let's see. Uh, let me just go to the audit section and I'm just trying to understand that, okay, if I run the, okay, is there any proof that, okay, I run that specific, uh, I use that specific URL. Let me go to the progressive uh, web app section. 
doesn't uh, if you're building a progressive web app okay his uh, user will not be prompted to install the web app okay How can I know that? Okay, uh, there's that. Is, I use that specific URL. Let me see if I find anything here. Okay. Uh, are they saying anything in specific? Pages are successful HTTP status code. Avoid plugins. Uh, it reflects. Uh, HRF Lang, real canonical, okay. Uh, past audits, okay. Is this saying anything about HTTP anywhere for past audits? Redirect HTTP traffic to HTTPS. Why not? Let me just run the same audit again. Let me just try to, I'm just, just want to make sure that, okay. Uh, so the URL is this, we know that. Let's run the audit. So I guess it's it was probably redirecting uh, the SDP version because we know that, okay, it's actually, it's being redirected. Uh, for example, uh, let's just try the Chrome browser. Is that URL? Go to... Chrome Web Tools. Sorry about that. Okay. Go to the Chrome Web Tools. And if we audit, uh, let's go to the network section first. Let's see which URL there actually is all. See, here's the, that's another thing I already discussed. Uh, uh, when I use only Chrome Web Tools, but I, I, I'm just trying to understand that, okay, if it is HTTP and without any, without trailing slash, what happens? So, so yeah, it's HTTP and without trailing slash, and it's, it, it returns 307 status code. So I was expecting Chrome to tell us, I'm, I'm sorry, Lighthouse to give me this information that, okay, it's 307. Um, I guess it didn't say anything about it. Uh, let me just try to find it again here. Well, you know, it, it's just a vast audit. I mean, if I'm, I probably am missing something, but I don't see it here. Uh, so yeah, this is how we should use the tools. Of course, like, you know, this is just a video. Um, I'm just trying to show you guys that, okay, how I use Lighthouse. Uh, I'm sure like, you know, uh, people may have advanced tips, uh, but the, yeah, this is how we can use, uh, uh, Lighthouse command line interface and the uh, Chrome DevTools Lighthouse audit, uh, Lighthouse tool. Thank you.